to Brakate Yahawa, Brakate O'Shea, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate O'Shea, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate O'Shea. First and foremost, want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, Bashem Rachapadash, the blindness of the apostles and elders who rule with a great millstone, and a best sanitation to the Akyams and the four Kaniyot, pushing the gospel and sincerity and truth. Shalom. This evening, I want to do a lesson on this article, right from the RT News. It's, um, it's a president threatening to use army to clear Brazil truckers blocking road in protest right and this up this is uh this happening right now in um in brazil all right and this is tribe um this this one this this one in the um the 10 tribe that came and they, they came to the america's force you know where no man was where no man in, it was inhabiting the americas they came force you know and you soak up brazilian you are israelites right you are you are the son you are the son of Israel, right? You you from the tribe um tribe tribe uh, the tribe of Asher, right? You 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 so called um Brazilians, right? And the most sides who bring this evil on you, we got y'all heavy in idolatry. Right? Yeah, heavy in idolatry. This is evil time. This is the time of Jacob trouble. Right, the most I most I break the staff. Right, they said they said diesel price went up sky high. Right, and these is the truck was 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 take food from city to city, and if the, these trucks strike, you know, food, they gonna be problem with food and water. You know, they even saying um they get the gas station they have no gas. Right, and the most I using his sword to do this. So who's the most I sword? The so called white man. Right, he's the devil that the Bible speak of, and the most are using he to bring pressure on you, on you Israelites. Right, this this is your wicked works. Uh, this article was published on the 26th of May 2018. No, Sak Salak, the 25th of May 2018, and edited on the 26th of May 2018. Right, it says some of the truck or protest high fuel price in Brazil. Have agreed to un unblock the road after the government threatened to send in the army against them. The five day strike high highlighted Brazil economy woes. Right? It's on Friday, President Michael T Timar threatened to send army to clear the road as one of the truck trucker unions said it will continue continue to strike the spies and our an agreement struck on Thursday to lower the price of diesel so they're gonna continue their strike. So we don't know how long this food chart is gonna go for. Right? Because these are the truck that is trying for food from city to city. Right? It's um he said just as we had the courage to dialogue, we have the courage to exercise authority. Team team are Told the media on Friday, I am putting all the federal force to to, in, to ensure free movement, and of course the country supply. Um, I think that the country was expecting this, right? So we need time. We know we need time of evil, right? Evil has me bad time, distress. You understand? Things getting more hard, right? It's uh, over 500 road block remain across Brazil on Friday evening. Public, it's a public security minister Rahul, Rahul said at the news conference, according to a reader, that was half the number registered on Thursday. However, once the road are completely clear, normal normalizing fuel supply will still take a week. <laughs> normalizing fuel supply so the most I break is stuff because fuel is something that these people depend on you know to move to drive to travel to cook you know a lot of things there's your staff you depend on the fuel so the most I break the stuff you know there's all your food coming to your city and the sun the most I see you gonna break is break the stuff for your bread 
right? It's a Brazil oil regulator A and B set, right? It's a Brazil truck driver block. So like it's a ten of thousand of truck trucker had parked their rings on the road across Brazil on Monday protesting the rising price of diesel. On Thursday, union leaders said they would accept the government offer to lower the fuel price by 10% for a month and abandon the tax that had contributed to the long-term price hike. The government-run oil company Petrobras as as a monopoly of fuel in Brazil. He said that uh, blockage has caused caused the cost of food and other product across the country to skyrocket. Yeah, so the most I break this stuff because fuel is very important. You understand in this in this society the fuel is very important. To move the plane, the vehicle, you know, to cook, to do and do other and do other stuff. You understand? They say our supermarket shelf was was stripped in beer. Many school cancer classes and hospitals reported running out of supply. Because these truck these truckers who transport these goods, you know, they were there on strike. Right? There were reports of shortage in region Rio de Janeiro, South Sao Paulo, Bar Basilia, Recife, Porta, Porta Algira, and Congonghas Highway were also choked by the blockage, blocking driver in Curitiba, the largest city in Brazil, in in the Brazilian state of Paraná. Right, so you know the most I. The most I break is the after the bread, right? See the apostle, the beloved apostle, see the most I in everything, you see? It works. These brothers are um, Hawaii too, you know? Yeah, the most I works in everything. The most everything this is the name of the heavenly father. He is he is he exists. The most I in everything. I'll praise us the I'll watch him on shake. Anyway. So this is the shelf in Brazil. This is some of the grocery. Alright, it's um one of the truck or union is a up 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 can initially refused to accept the nego negotiated agreement and issue a statement on Friday saying the union will not bet betray the truck drivers. <laughs> Abcam Ab Ab has reportedly changed his mind changed its mind after Timar threatened to deploy troops however the union urged it members to continue protesting by delay deliveries until the fuel tax cut is guaranteed by law. Distribuidor de Hortifruti Palmeira. Eu faço compra aqui no CEASA, CEAGES de São Paulo, mas com esse motivo aí de, do diesel, no caso nosso é o diesel, né? mas também tem a, a gasolina e o etanol, aumentar quatro vezes em um mês, isso é fora de lógica, não existe isso em país nenhum. E no Brasil aqui nós estamos sofrendo por esse prejuízo causado pelos nossos governantes, não sabemos quais os motivos para ter uma uma alta tão grande em combustível que move o país, né? E por esse motivo nós estamos com escassez de frutas. Yeah, you see why this happening to you, you so called Brazilian, because you know, yeah, you know, there's a lot of wickedness going on in the land. You know, yeah, I got a big statue, um, Serapis Christus, right, which is AKA Jesus, right? 
they have a lot of um, a lot of tran transgender a lot of a lot of a lot of lesbian a lot of wickedness a lot of you know, worshiping going on in the land of brazil right this is where the most i can bring evil on you right the scripture said if if from if from is modern is idol right and you latin tribes you know it's where the most i can bring hell on you on you latin tribes right um right that's why the most i bring in all this hell hell on you latin tribes right uh let me get this this piece of quick going on all right this is um Hosea 4 and 17 Say Ephraim is joined to idol, let him alone. Yeah, he joined the idol. That's why I got a big statue of Serapis Christus, you know. All of all of all of wickedness, all of idolatry going on in the land of Brazil. Right? You understand? So the most I the most I gonna the most I gonna repay repay y'all for the wickedness that y'all do, you know. You understand? For the wickedness. Right. This is um Hosea chapter five verse um Hosea chapter five verse three say I know Ephraim and Israel is not hide from me. But now all O Ephraim thou committed whoredom, yeah. So the most I repaying, the most I the most I repain, the most I can bring evil from you are because of the works that you are doing. Where with how a man sinned by the same way shall he be punished? Right? So the heavenly fathers who bring in this hell on you right now. You know, this is this is, this is Jacob trouble. Because you are Israelites. Right? You are you are you 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 so covered as uh, Brazilian, you are Israelites, right? Um right, he said this is our Hosea five and three say no Ephraim. And Israel is not hid from me. For now, O oh, Ephraim, thou committed whoredom, and Israel is defiled. Yeah, you yeah, commit whoredom. A lot of y'all are Roman Catholic, Christians, you know. A lot of y'all are, um, you know, worship women, you know, worship all kind of idol, you know. So the most sides who bring in the hell on you, so Calvin is uh, Brazilian. Right? Verse 4 he said, They will not free him. They will not free their doing to turn unto their power. Right? So they're not going to know that most I say they shall not free their doing. Right? We check the word frame. Right? So it's the most I bring the evil. Bring the evil and you so called um, Brazilian. Right? Right, me to give to put to set, right to give to bestow to grant to permit to ascribe to employ to devote to consecrate, right me to separate, right. Um, yeah, back in uh, Hosea 5 and 4. He said they will not refrain, they will not frame their doing to turn onto the onto the power. You understand? They're not gonna turn back to turn, not gonna turn back to Yahweh Yahushai. For the spirit of whoredom is in the midst of them, yeah. You know the the come out of commit whoredom by worshiping these idols spiritually. You understand? And the and Jake's the, these Latin tribe heavy, heavy on idolatry. You know, heavy. You know, he said, um, "For the spirit of order is in the midst of them, and they have not known the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai." Right? That's why you can bring evil on you because, you know, you you know, be you, sure you 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 so called um, Brazilian. You know, seeing the man, the Lord, seeing these videos on YouTube, you seeing this thing here that you are Israelites. So the most I can bring hell on you right now. The most I can bring hell on you, Jakes. Right? Verse 5, he said, And the pride of Israel do testify to his face, 
and the pride of Israel to testify to his face. Therefore shall Israel and Ephraim fall in, fall in their iniquity, and Judah also shall fall with them here. The most I will bring hell on the, on the, on the Israelites, you Israelites who refuse to turn back unto him. Right? The Jacob trouble. You understand? That is Jacob trouble. You understand? That is Jacob trouble. This is Amos chapter 3, verse um, 6. He said, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord hath not done it? So let me go into this word evil. Right? That is what evil means bad time or ill time. Right? That's really what evil means. The most high bring those bad time and ill time. The most high send them famine, send them pestilence, send them earthquake, them tsunami, you know. Yeah, the most high send those things, you know. Right? So the word, the word evil, you see it means bad, evil, right? Um, disagreeable, right? Um, unpleasant, evil, giving pain. Unhappiness, misery, evil, displeasing, right? This is really what evil mean. Right now the people unhappy people the people in a unhappy state, the misery, no food, no gas, gas price up high, right? Displeasing. You understand? The bad time right now, worse than you understand, unhappy, sad. Evil, heartful. That's really what evil mean, right? So the most eyes will send those times, right? The most eyes will bring down you when you're being wicked. Is is repay you with your own wickedness, right? That's what the most eyes do, right? That's what the most eyes do. This is Baruch, Baruch chapter two, verse nine. They say, "Wherefore the Lord watch over us for evil." Yeah. He can bring them ill time, them bad time. Because we being wicked, we, we, we committing whoredom in the land, worshiping all kind of idols and, and being wicked, breaking his commandments, and not trying to keep it to our best ability, not walking in his, his statues, but walking in the heathen statues. Right? Wherefore the Lord watched over us for evil, and the Lord had brought it upon us, the most high brought this upon you. Most I brought this upon you, um, so called Brazilian. You are Israelites, right? Most I bring this upon you. You understand? It's uh, back in Baruch chapter 2, verse 9. Wherefore the Lord watch over us for evil, and the Lord hath brought it upon us, for the Lord is righteous in all his work which he commanded us. So the Most High is righteous in all His work, which He commanded us, and we we disobey Him. So He's gonna bring evil upon us. Disobeying the Lord is evil, so He can repay us with evil. Be not deceived; the Most High is not mocked. It's a whatever man sow, this we can reap. For disobeying the Most High, what is evil? So the Most High will bring evil upon us. These ill times and these bad times, all right? This is Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 30. Son of man, when the land sinned against me by trespassing grievously, right? You so covered, you so covered in your sin. You trespass against the most high grievously with a big statue. The most high said, Don't put no standing image in your land. Don't set up no standing image in your land. Let me get it. I think there's a um, Leviticus. Leviticus 23, uh, 26, and 1. Let me see. For some minute, twenty six because twenty six and one, right? The most I said, it shall, um, a man shall lie with man, and uh, man should man should not lie with man, and all these things, and all these things going on in the land of Brazil, right? This is Leviticus twenty six and one. He said, he shall make no idols nor graven image, neither wear he up a standing image, and in Brazil had a big, big image of uh, Serapis Christus, right? You understand? Which, which is aka Jesus Christ. You understand? Neither shall he set up any image of stone in your land to bow down unto it, 
for I am the Lord your power. Right? So, you know, all the wicked is going on in the land of Brazil. So the most I bring a judgment on that land. Right? Most I bring a judgment on you Israelites. This is Ezekiel chapter 14 verse 30. Son of man, when the land had sinned against me by trespassing grievously, then will I stretch out my my hand upon it and will break the staff. The staff is something that you support, that is support you. A brace. Gasoline is a staff. Diesel is a staff. Your food is a staff. Your water is a staff. Alright? So the most I can break it by how cutting it. Cutting it off or shortening it. Sometimes my custom drinking five, six, seven, eight bottle of water a day. You might got drink two 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 bottles of water might got last for a week. This is the time that we're coming into. Right? This is why we gotta repent and turn back to our wash and our shite. You know, you so God you so God Brazilian. You know, you are Israelites. Right? It's a it's a then will I stretch out my hand upon it and break the staff of bread thereof and will send famine. There they got no food. Right? They got no food. Right? They got sh food shortage because the trucks now working. We'll bring it. We'll bring the food from city to city. Right? We'll bring the food from city to city. They say, it's a Brazil food shortage in Sao Paulo supermarket due to trucks, um, trucker strike. Right, and this evil the most high bring on the land in, in, in Brazil. It said, and I will break the staff of bread thereof, and will send famine upon it, and will cut off man and beast from it. Right, so the most high is going to bring evil. Right, he's going to bring evil on you, you wicked ass Israelites who refuse to talk back unto him. Right. Um, this is Jeremiah 6 and 19. Here, O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people, you Israelites. You refuse to talk back to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Even the fruit of their thoughts, even the fruits of their thoughts, the most I know your wicked, the most I know your wicked thoughts. Right? Let me get that. The most I know your wicked thoughts. Right? Second is just um, 16. Right, the most I know your wicked thoughts. Right. Let's start at um second second is just chapter fifteen as uh, verse fifty four. Behold, the Lord knoweth all the works of men, their imagination, <laughs> their thoughts, and their hearts. So the most I know that you can't hide them from the most I. You understand? You cannot hide them from the most I. We jump to verse 63, right? Verse 63, it says, Surely he knows your invention and what you think in your hearts, which is your mind, even them that sin and would hide their sin. That's why you got to repent. You got to confess your sins and you got to repent. And turn back to Yahweh Shai. Therefore, had the Lord ex exactly searched out all all your works, and He will put you all to shame. Right? This is a shameful thing. Eh? You know, our brothers ain't got no food. You know, you are Israelites, and you refusing to hearken to the word of Yahweh Hashem Shai. Right? You are refusing to hearken to the word of Yahweh Hashem Shai. Back in Jeremiah 6 and 19, Here, O Lord, behold, I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not acted unto my words. So the U.S. like not hearing, you make it, you scoffing against the man, the Lord, you make it mock on the coming board, you are kind of thing to see, you know, you think this is, you think this is just a, you think this thing is a, is a play, is a playground. But the most I can bring evil on you is like you refuse that who refuse to act his word. Right? Because they have acted not unto my word nor nor to my law, but reject it. Right? So the most I can bring evil on you people. Right? This is Jeremiah eleven eleven. Therefore thus said the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon them 
which which they shall not be able to escape and there's a one the evil is famine a lot of you can not escape the famine you're gonna die in the famine you're gonna die in the pestilence you're gonna die in race war you're gonna die in the martial law you're gonna die when you think you make a chip they see time will come in right and he said and though they and though they shall cry unto me i will not hearken unto them so the most i'm not gonna hearken unto them right even the most i can tell you then shall the city of judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto thee, unto the gods, unto whom they offer incense, but they shall not save them at all in the time of their trouble. So Allah, let us pray to Jesus Christ right now, right? Pray to Serapis Christos right now. He's not going to answer you because he's not no God, right? He's not going to answer you, you understand? He's not no God, he's not going to answer you, right? Um... Second Ezra chapter 15, right? It was 24. Uh, the second Ezra chapter, chapter 15, verse 24, he said, Woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments, said the Lord. So, woe to them that sin and and keep not the most high commandments. You gotta keep the most high commandments to your best ability. To your best ability. But 25. I will not spare them. Go your way, ye children from the power. Defy not my sanctuary. For the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him. And therefore deliver he them unto death and destruction. You understand? So the most high deliver them unto death and destruction. Right? Most eyes will bring all this, all this evil on, on you people, right? You understand? I think it's a 16 and 14. Right? The most eyes will bring it. Right? Let me see. Yeah. This is um <clears throat> all right. This is um uh, second angel chapter sixteen, verse fourteen. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. So the most I send them plagues. Right, the time of Jacob trouble, the most I send them plagues. Right, when you go to verse um, 18, look at some of the plagues. He said, The beginning of sorrow and great mourning, the beginning of sorrow and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evil. And what shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as a scourge for amendment. So the most I send this for amendment. You understand? The most I send this here, take heed and turn back and amend your ways, turn back to Yahweh Bashem, you shall repent. The most I will send this scourge. Right? He tell you um, in Jeremiah, I think it's Jeremiah 30. Jeremiah 30. I think it's 15. Let me see. Right? I think it's Jeremiah 30 and 15. Yeah, this is Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 15. He said, Why cries thou for thine affliction? We got a crying right now in Brazil, right now. Yeah, the crying. The crying right now. Right? Crying right now. So the most I said, Why cries thou for thine affliction? Thy sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thy iniquity, because thy sins were increased. I have done these things unto thee. So the most I send thee, send them evil. And this we read in here. Right? Second Israel chapter 16, verse 19. Behold, famine and plagues, tribulation and anguish are said as a scourge for a man men to a man your ways. But for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness. Not always be mindful of the scourge, right? So this is the time of Jacob trouble you see in um, in Brazil, 
and you soak up Brazilian or Israelites, you know. So, you know, repent, you know, to return away from your whole them. Repent and turn back to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, right? And, um, I close off with this one, eh? Right? This is the Amos, Amos 5 and 4, right? This is Amos. This is Amos chapter five, um, verse four. He said, "For for thus said the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai unto the house of Israel, which is you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indian, seek he me, and he shall live. So seek Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You know, stop scoffing against him, man. The Lord is seen out there on the highways and byways. You know, repent. You know." Repent on reform pride, repent and turn back to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. So seek he me, right? Which is the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, and he shall live, right? And with that, hope this was edifying. I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, Hashem, Raka Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders who will have great men stone. And a blessed salutation to the Akyams in the folk and the earth, pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth. Shalom.